what is going on guys it's your boy Cesar here bring guys now photoshop tutorial today actually it's a cool little minimalist uh offset white background tutorial here today actually you guys are really really enjoying the simplistic videos i've been doing lately like the Boston banner i did two weeks ago you guys really killed that video as well as the advertising poster designs and you guys just really been enjoying it and that's actually one of my favorite things to do in 2d design is making it as clean as possible and being as like you know uh not so hard at the same time so it's something like this is so easy i promise you as you can see what we're doing here today we're actually doing something like this is offset white background with like a nice little simple picture with your logo being like you know pulling the picture out more and like a little simple accent bar and some accent lines um it's very very simple to do uh, i actually came on a new premium it's called fresh pre-made revamp it comes with a youtube background such as this one and a twitter head that looks exactly like it and a universal avatar for only eight dollars uh customizable fully customized with color your text can change you can you know move things around if you wish or you can take off the optional uh bar i have on the bottom here so you can see here it's my self by channel or my self by page self.com i will put this uh, in the description down below just in case you guys want to see it yourselves and maybe purchase it so anyway we're gonna be doing something like this today so let's get started right now don't forget guys 200 likes on this video equals the secret down below and go ahead let's get going so we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer so control shift n <clears throat> we will go ahead and i already have the picture i'm gonna be using today like i said i'm gonna be using a picture uh, like something like this and i just put tropical trees in google and i just got this picture it's pretty cool as well as my logo and all right so let's get going all right cool so what you're gonna do is basically select your foreground color here we're gonna use an offset white so not this is a, this is obviously plain white we're gonna use an offset white so something around maybe this e8 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 hex code and we're gonna go ahead and press a uh, alt backspace for the foreground color quick fill and we're gonna make another new layer and we're gonna change our foreground color now to white and we're gonna go ahead and press b on our keyboard for the brush and this is where you already know like this whole entire part we gotta go ahead and just simply just go ahead and click and drag uh from i'm basically trying to make a little circle like a little simple circle around uh, not too much but that's just fine you guys probably can't see it on the video but when you get in photoshop yourselves in the super high quality video or if you put your quality up high you can probably see the difference right now but possibly not if you're on a low resolution anyway we're gonna go ahead and put this on 80 opacity or so and then for the next part, we're gonna make another new layer, and we're gonna change the foreground color from offset white or white to a gray. Now this is where we're gonna get the cool little like uh, tone of color. So or not color, but tone of uh, shade, I guess you can say maybe. Um, just simply go ahead and just click. I'll say like something like triangle around the edges. I'm not I'm not trying to click too much in the middle, and I'm gonna try and lower my opacity down to maybe about 90 degrees or 90 oops 90 percent, and I can say. Okay, that's pretty good. So basically, I just want to have like a cool little offset background where it's just not plain white and doesn't because I feel like it has no character at all if you see like a plain white background. So if you see this one here, you can see that there's offset white. It's kind of like more of a grayish, uh, grayish over here than offset white. You can see the, the kind of tone just goes through the entire banner. So now we're going to do what and do is we will, I'll right, we'll try and fix this just a little bit. Uh, that's pretty it's okay all right so we're gonna do we're gonna just group all this together so shift click on this uh control g to make it uh to a group and we're just gonna call this bg for background and we're gonna go ahead now make another new layer and we're gonna start off with a simple little bar that i had on the uh preview i did so we're gonna go ahead and use the m on our keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool and i'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag and we're gonna go ahead and just quick fill it with the control backspace actually uh quick fill your uh your not your foreground color but your background color and control D to deselect and we have a simple little bar on the bottom now so we can just either move that I'll probably move it down just a little bit more on my arrow keys so it's not so thick and I'm going ahead and just bring in my logo now I'm gonna shrink this with control T free transform and then holding shift in the corner and shrink it a little bit control H for those rulers on the the Twitter uh, what is it called Twitter template I'll say that's pretty good right there and I'm gonna go ahead and change my logo to the same color which is gonna be Clicking on this, click here, press OK, press OK, and then right click, rasterize layer. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do now is I'm basically just gonna put both of the like any color you have, uh, which is like obviously I have my red here, but what I'm saying is any color you're gonna use, change your uh, layer style from normal to linear burn. So I'm gonna do that for this right here and this right here. Where's it at? Oops, excuse me. All right, cool. So you can see when I put this linear burn on the bar itself or anything that has highlights on it or excuse me, anything that has color on it. So right now you see my bar is red. You actually get this very cool little tone of like, uh, kind of like you have a more darker red here. And since the background is white and we also use the brush to actually put some highlights on the offset white, it gives the linear dodge or excuse me, the linear burn, uh, just brings up the color a little bit more. It looks pretty cool. These little accent like little highlights in certain spots. And it's kind of like, you know, kind of like pre-done because what you did in uh, the beginning helped this do that. So that's why I say put them both on linear burn. And now we're gonna go ahead and do 
Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just bring in our uh, our little picture here now. I'm gonna drag this below, like my logo on my bar here. And with your picture, if you guys do not have this little uh, plugin, it's in Photoshop. It's called, I believe it's called a Topaz Labs. It's called Topaz Denoise 5. Type it in on Google, try to find it yourselves. Um, it's very, very nice to get pictures and actually clean them up and like no distort uh, noise will be on them. It kind of looks more of a, like a HD quality. You know, if you get noise in your pictures, like if you take a picture with a lower quality uh, phone or something like that, and you get these like little pixels or noisy, like little grainy like texture on the picture, if you use this, it actually makes it look a lot more better. So I'll show you guys right now. I've been using this a lot ever since I've been using like I've been making thumbnails for other people and sometimes the picture quality is not so like high. So what I do is just it, this is what it looks like regularly. So if I just put my strength up, if we just look right here for now, my strength up, you can see it clears everything up. So it's no more grainy stuff here. Like the water right here is grainy. If I just put this up a little bit, I'm trying to find that nice little smooth setting. And if I press OK, it'll turn the entire picture nice, more of a nice little quality picture and it looks, I think it just looks a lot a lot better you can see it looks a lot better right now so what I'll go ahead and do is change it from normal to luminancy and we will go ahead and lower the opacity down to about I would say five or that's too low I'll say what ten yeah ten is pretty good so that brings us here is actually bringing out the uh, the picture itself with the logo now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my logo but what I'm gonna do is press control and click on my thumbnail of the 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 layer that has my logo on it so I'm just gonna do that really quickly so it'll select anything or I think like basically it's gonna select my logo so the pixels around it will not be selected and now if I click on the background layer where I did that that little cool little picture I just did if I press M my keyboard which is a rectangle marquee tool this will allow me to right click layer via cut and when I do this here I can bring this on top of my logo now and I'll just change this from luminancy to overlay. Actually, do I have to put below my logo? I put it up here. And I put it to overlay. And just, what I'm going to do is just basically up my opacity up a little bit more. So you'll be able to see that the logo pops out a little bit more. And the picture is like, you know, more vibrant or, excuse me, more noticeable on my logo. Rather than just having the picture just be like on top of the logo, which is kind of like messy. I, don't, I just think it looks a lot better when you do something like this. So that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do now. I'm make another new layer. And I will go ahead and just use my brush again, change my foreground color to plain old white. And I'm going to go ahead and just do my soft brush. I'm going to press Control, Alt, and right click left and right to actually uh, make my diameter bigger and smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and with like a 1,100 brush, I will go ahead and just click once on the top. Give it like a nice little cool little setting. But the entire thing about this is, the cool little trick to this is, is we're going to go to our little adjustment layer here, which is the half circles. And we're going to go to brightness and contrast, which is right over here. And we're going to change this brightness and we're going to lower it down to the negative and we will up the contrast i'll say so i'll say about negative 50 or so with the brightness so negative 50 and the contrast we'll just put it up a little bit as well and it will bring out that offset weight that we did in the beginning so you can see right now it looks like very it's like too vibrant for me it's like almost like a uh, it still looks kind of plain white in the background but with the brightness and contrast little tweak we did with the adjustments layer if i check that out not right if i check that right now you can see the offset just brings it just looks so much better i really do think so and actually now that i have this brightness and contrast on i might want to lower the opacity on the overlay on my uh my my uh logo right here um yeah it looks a lot better so Basically, see that there. That's just basically how I did the same exact thing I did here. Is what I did exactly here. But I just did some other little things. So other little tweaks I did, which was uh, I made a new layer. So I'm gonna just do that above my brightness and contrast. I made a new layer, and my keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool. And I just it's kind of like a signature for me now. I just do this all the time. So I'm gonna highlight the entire uh, dimensions on my Twitter header here. Go to select, modify, border, and within three pixels, press OK. And then when your foreground color is selected on white. You want to just go ahead and press Alt Backspace to quick fill it, and you'll see you get a white ring around this right here. So if I just go ahead and just right, uh, click on this, so change it from normal to overlay, you'll see you get this very nice, like almost kind of like focuses your eyes more to the middle, or like you know, no longer like really expands your eyes. It's just kind of like this little border will help it, you know. I, I just finalizes it for me. I love it how it just looks when I just finalize it. So I'm gonna lower the opacity down to about 80%. I'll just erase around this a little bit. And you guys seen this? Oops, you guys seen this enough? I think it's right here. Yeah, uh, you guys seen this a lot by me. I just I feel like it just looks a lot cooler than just leaving it, you know, solely like not look. I don't know. Just look what it looks like there, and kind of I just gives it more. I just I don't know. I love it. Anyway, so with that being said, you can also do a lot more things in this. I just put a little accent bar on, before as well. I did the little uh, accent lines as well. What I did here was I used my pen tool, and I just went and I just used my shift click. If I if I hold shift, my pen tool lines will be straight. So I'll go to, I did something like this. 
and I just went right click on a new layer, stroke, and I make sure my actually I'm gonna make sure my uh, foreground color is black this time. Right click, stroke path, pencil, press OK, and it just follows the exact same path right here. And what I did was I just press Alt and I drag this layer and it'll make a duplicate for me. And I'll do is press Control T, uh, right click, flip horizontal, flip vertical. And that's basically what I did there, and there we go. So I'll lower the passage down here as well. And what I can do, if I really want to, I don't know which one is which. That one's that one, all right. I can go like that, maybe. And I go like that over here, why not? Get a little more things, and also you can put text on it, but I didn't really put no text on it, really. But I, I mean, it just looks very, very good. I do not lie, I think it looks very, very freaking good. So what I'll go ahead and do now is uh, tell you guys, by the, way, uh, by the way, like you, like I told you before, you can just do more than just what I have here, this little accent bar. You can do a lot more than just this with any color you want to do. It's if you still have the original color that you have here, which you can find it as well if you just uh, like uncheck everything besides the bar itself. You can select the color again to make sure you get the same exact color. I already have it here. So if I want to, at any moment, I can make a new layer. And if I want to put any crazy little accents, like maybe over here, for some reason I want to do something like this, I'm just showing you guys just for an example here. But if I right-click, fill the path, and use the same exact color over here, press OK, and if I put this on linear burn, it will look the exact same like this, and it just looks, I don't know, ooh, even this looks pretty good, I don't know, it looks, I don't know, I don't freaking know, I just think it looks really good, I don't know, I'm gonna say I don't know as many times as I want, <laughs> but you can be the judge yourself, I think it looks very, very clean, so, and just, yeah, why not? Like, so just something like this. Like, if you want to put more things besides this little bar on the bottom, you can. Uh, please just go with it. This can be, like, either your final. It can be done here, uh, all done. But all otherwise, you can just do some other cool things. Like, like I showed you, like, guess, in the Boston banner where I did, like, the cool little pictures, like, with those slanted cuts and such. You can do stuff like that. So just please mix it all together, and you get some very, very nice things. And, of course, if you want to change the color, it's pretty simple. If you just want to use your hue and saturation adjustments, and it looks pretty good. It doesn't really mess with anything else because it's already white, and it's like you can't really change it with the hue and saturation. It would only change the color. So I'm really going to mess around with anything in the background. So if you use the same exact techniques I did with the background here, you shouldn't have any problem just using the hue and saturation to change the color like so. And purple itself, I just really think it looks freaking nice as hell. So. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. You guys see this little white little banner here, so hopefully you guys really enjoy these little simplistic videos. I really, really enjoy like showing you guys these kind of things, and it's kind of like these little like little magical things. Very, very simple things to do that looks very, very good. And so hopefully you guys enjoy, and don't forget the fresh premium revamp down below in the description for $8. It's a very nice little purchase, of course, as well as my experience pack. I can put some other stocks in here. If you have any other stocks, by the way, you can use about 30k pack to use other stocks to actually put on this header or your banner itself. Well, the experience pack has some really cool stocks, and I really, really would advise you guys if you're looking for some really cool stocks. I really do think this is probably like the place to go. I have a whole bunch of uh, stocks here that are actually made by me, no one else. They're all black, black and white stocks. I've been working on trying to make some more colorful ones, but they're very, very cool, and you can just use them as you wish. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this one right now. Why not? And just put it over there for some added detail. Put it like so, maybe right, and then just drop this down below my logo. Put it on overlay, lower the opacity down. So of course you can put some more little uh, you know things on the outside, like some stocks on the outside, and just put it on the banner itself. But yep, there we go. So like I said, that's the experience pack. It's only for ten dollars actually, and actually updates regularly. So you guys can get some new stocks every once in a while. So you will see that happening. So I'll put those both in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SysoHQ. Also don't forget to check out my Selfie where those two things were actually at Selfie.com SysoHQ. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Thank you guys for almost 39k. I think this video should be like really close to like where me hitting 39k. I think I'm like 100 away. And we're almost so close to 40k. And I'm going on vacation soon, so it's just a very happy environment for me right now. So thank you guys so much. Let's switch you out. Peace.